Hi, welcome to Debbie Stairs Demo. I'm Debbie. Hi. Happy National Scrapbooking Day and International Scrapbooking Day here on Debbie's Dare and around the world. We're all celebrating the craft that we love and have a passion for so much and that we keep our memories safe with. I'm going to bring to you today something that someone had requested and that's how to make a uh, metal piece that looks like a dog tag. Now, they got the idea that it looked like a dog tag from something I made for my daughter's wedding. And it was this little piece here. And I'm going to show you how I did it. The sample that I showed on the line is a little bit different than what the, we actually did. But if we go back, we're going to go back to the one I'm, I showed the sample to online. And I'm going to show you how I made it. And, and probably add a little bit to it so that you can get a little tag that looks like a dog tag. If you're like me, I have a son who's in ROTC, Junior ROTC. Also, um, I know there's many military men around the world, so, and it's hard to come up with these little embellishments and tags and things like that for our military. So this is just a quick, easy way that you can Okay, do it. the base of my dog tag is nothing more than a piece of paper. It's the metallic line from American Crafts. You can buy it at A.C. Moore's Michaels. Um, it comes in a pack, all different colors. They have two different types of the silver. This one has more of a crosshairs pattern. But what I did is on my Microsoft Word, uh, just my Word program, is I just created some verbiage that I wanted to print out. Now let me take you over to my printer and let me show you something that I was told. And we're going to hope real well that HP told me right. Now mine is a PhotoSmart um, scanner, all in one, but it's also it's for photos. Now photos are done. The better photos are done on a die ink machine, dye ink, just like your regular dye inks that you buy, which means they dry fast, they're not great for embossing. Now if you have a regular printer, uh, like my husband does that he uses for his office work, that's a pigment ink, and the pigment ink stays wet longer. So you can actually emboss a whole lot better on your pigment inks than you can on your dye inks. Now we're going to try it today because this is the one sitting next to my computer. And we're just going to take where I've cut my paper, slider in. Now this has to go sort of fast, so let me show you what I'm using. I have Rangers, oh, I've got to come back over here, Rangers super fine, uh, detailed black embossing powders. You can see that I have it right here. I'm just going to, when it comes out, I'm going to very quickly cover it, coat it, and I'm going to emboss it. Now, also set your when you print, set it on best. Don't leave it on normal, not on draft. You want your ink to come out very heavy. So make sure that you um, set that on, go into your properties and set your print toner to best. Or if you have a computer piece like I have over here. So here we go. We're going to let that print. Um, here it printing. Yay! And I'm just going to jiggle this over. And you can see I made a little box for mine, but um, just ignore it. Da -da 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 -da. Make sure it's on there good. Tap it. Tap it, 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 tap it off. And I'm just going to wipe some of it away. And I'm just going to heat it up. Emboss it very well. Are you enjoying your National Scrapbooking Day? I was distressed, and that's the reason this works for us. It's not going to get that real clean look, but if you take a fine brush and get off the extra pieces. That'll work really, really great. So you can see you have your base there. Pull out my handy dandy Fiskars rotary trimmer. It locks, so I have to unlock it. I keep it here next to my desk. I have a couple, so this one stays next to my desk. I'm actually going to take and take, I want to cut off the box is what I'm doing. Uh, if you're doing a bunch of these, I'd advise you to do a bunch of them at the same time that way and do it in a box. In a, on a table on your uh, Word, and always save these. These are awesome. I've got a lot of little pieces, and just cut it right on off, and again, right on off, and you have the basics. And if I lock it back because I don't want my foot to accidentally hit it, knock it open. And like I said, I've got this one. A little bit didn't brush it off and knock it off quite as well as I'd like to have. But this is, I'm going to show you what we have so far. It's just, that's a little uh, piece for his, the, um, 
one of his layouts because he has the military ball next week. So I'm taking my Fiskars corner rounder. This is the small one, which I love very much. Gives me the look that I want for that dog tag. Very simple. See, we're getting there. More and more. You hear that phone call? That's Sudie Alexander from Unkit. That's her special ringtone. <laughs> oh, me. And then what we're going to do is, this is going to be a little loud, so forgive me. This is my Making Memories um, pad, a Fiskars. It, it has the hole punch at one end and the eyelet setter at the other end. I have my Making Memory silver eyelets. I'm just going to pull one up. And first thing, you want something hard like this where the name actually starts out. You ready? Here we go. Fire in the hole. All right. Oops. If it doesn't go through the first time, because I've got a um, this thing underneath it, it's giving on me. There we go. Put your, for those who've never used the Fiskars eyelet setter, this is awesome. Just put that in for the Making Memories piece. Now, usually I do this three times a night just to, because I'm not good at popping these. Oh, yeah. Smooshed it in good. How do you like this so far? It looks like you have a little metal dog tag. Now, I'm going to add something I didn't have on the other one, is that your dog tags often have a notch right down here. So I have a Fiskars hole punch, you can see, here. But I'm not going to hole punch the whole thing to be able to see it. So I'm going to notch it just a teeny bit. Just, I'm not going to put the whole... I'm not going to do the whole hole. I just want to get out part of the hole and notch that end piece down there. Let me see what I've got covered. I want to make sure I'm not covering too much. Maybe half or a little less. Ta-da! Again, see we've got the notch at the end that you'll see on a dog tag that you use for the military. Now, to finish this up, if you want the back of it silver, I have a silver leafing pen. Now you go, well, why don't I just use a regular silver pen? Well, I'm just not going to get quite the look I want. Matter of fact, I'm going to go around the top edge of it and use my leafing pen because it's really the same color silver as the paper that I'm using. This paper is really thick. It's a cardstock. And I can just take, if I want to get a really good color, silver on the back to match my front. And I can just use my leafing pen to cover what I want up See here. the back of it. I'm going to give you a quick look. Because that's actually silver leafing. I need to go just a little bit more. I see a couple of pieces that I've missed in trying to hurry. But, ta-da! This is our military tag. God bless you. You guys have a great day. Go out and make some tags. If you know of someone who scrapbooks for the military, let them know about Debbie's Dares Demo or make a tag yourself and send it to them as an embellishment for their layout. What a nice rack to send forward. You have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.